It is the season for all things Halloween, but a Northeast Minneapolis attraction is no longer bringing the spooky vibes. After 22 years, the haunted house on Lowry is taking a break. As WCCO's Uba Ali explains, it was a tough call. This home is behind a lot of screams and laughter because once a year it transforms from this to this. I like doing the decorating for Halloween. I like people being able to see it. This homemade haunted house started as a hobby for Mark Lasarchik and his family. The haunted house on Laurie draws thousands of people to its backyard for a night of horror. I enjoy listening to the, the families and the kids saying what they say after going through it. This year, the screams will go silent. It's completely sad because I know a lot of people count on it every year. You know, that's where they bring their kids. $100,000 of his own money and countless of memories later, he says three reasons led to his difficult decision to close. Cost, lack of staff to help set up, and unhappy neighbors. But for Pan Anderson, I really like how friendly the owners of the place are and just how lively it gets to be. Yeah. It's a blow to her Halloween plans. I'm really saddened by it, but I'm hoping that they're going to be back next year. Lazarchek says he's hopeful for the future and he's not ruling out a haunted house return someday. It's a possibility. In Minneapolis, Uba Ali, WCCO News. Lazarchek says he's looking forward to a Halloween with no tricks, just treats.